so many beautiful there's so many things about us that sets us apart our looks our curves different shapes and sizes but there's one thing i realized that a lot of women do not have it's confidence <laughs> A lot of women are not confident in who they are and it shows people can sense this too now i'm telling you that being hot being sexy is less about what you wear but who you are and people can sniff this a lot of people don't have personality they have nothing they just follow the wind oh if the trend is um big ash and small waist they are at your doctor's places you're getting smaller waist and big hips if the trend is a, a size six they are back to not eating they're anorexic like some women are just there to follow trends they live for trends like anything in vogue they're there like you know what that does to you that puts you in a crowd like there's nothing different about you if everybody's doing one thing and you're there yesterday you were skinny today you're you know you're curvy there's nothing about you that's unique my dear nothing there's nothing authentic about you and people can smell that from a mile. Now, decades ago, there was a trend for, you know, people showing skin, right? A lot of people were on that bandwagon, you know, because it was something that was in vogue. In recent times, there's a trend for modest dressing, layering, and a lot of people are on that bandwagon, yeah? Now, I'm not saying that in these times, there were not people who were specifically like that. Like, there are some women that, you know, their style is their style regardless of trends their style is their style and so we know that from the beginning from now till 10 years ago they've always liked modest dressing that's how they look that's how they dress it doesn't matter if tomorrow the trends change that's who they are and there's people that like their sexy clothes it doesn't matter you know whether trends change or not that's who they are but just certain people that would always jump on trends they were wearing you know short skirts when short skirts were trending now long skirts are trending they're on the long skirt trend and they make sure that everybody sees them. Oh, look at me. I wear modest dressing. Oh, look at me. Now, that is terrible. Because what that tells people is you have no personality. One of the hottest things that a woman can have is confidence in who you are. Now, to be able to be confident, you need to understand who you are. Like, who am I? When no one is looking, like when I'm not trying to push you up with the internet, like when I'm not trying to look around and be like, who am I? Who are you? As a person we answer that question then you can understand what is about you that sets you apart i'm going to use myself as an example growing up i've always had i was a tom uh, well, as a teenager i grew up very fast really really fast like you know at the age of 10 11 i was growing boobs it was crazy i had so much attention from guys as a free teenager that i became so timid you know what i'm saying imagine a young girl 10 11 years growing boobs and then having attention from men it was so intimidating for me i started wearing really bogus shirts really bogus trousers like these were clothes that i would wear just to cover up you know whatever you know development i was having you know pre puberty i was always trying to cover it now i got into uni and it was the same thing my first year i wore so many baggy clothes like <laughs> my favorite clothes were like really big tops and baggy pants right and then everybody saw it and it's still the hardest features because i was still being still being mocked you know when i passed guys to say oh delicious you know all sorts of weird things they because i was really skinny and i had boobs and stuff and i had these curves and i didn't know what to do with them so i got so ashamed but then that was a, a period of self-discovery for me by the time i got to my third year i'd come into my own i'd realized the things i liked and then i started to dress like myself you know I realized that I really like curvy, sexy clothes. I realized that I like the features God gave me. The boobs, the nice skin, the nice legs. I started to wear clothes that will enhance them. So you would rarely see me with an outfit that doesn't show cleave. Like it's, it's difficult. Like you cannot. If I'm not showing cleavage, I'm showing my legs off. Like I started to love. Like I, I embodied myself. And then started to wear clothes that enhanced them, you know. And that's how I've always been, you know. And it's 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 that part of me that just makes me, you know, 
feel good. You know what I'm saying? And there are a lot of women like that. They've gone through a journey of self-discovery and they've gone to the point where, okay, this is who I am. This is what I like. This is what makes me feel most beautiful. And they dress like that. You know, it has nothing to do with anybody. And even men can see it. Now, one of the craziest things about following trends is that you end up in the wrong crowd all the time. You attract people who are not for you. Simple. If you know that deep down, you know, you're not really a sexy clothes kind of person, you prefer to wear, you know, covered clothing. But because sexy clothes are in trend, you start dressing that way. You attract people that like that, you know, style. You know, men, women, all sorts. And the craziest part is some of some of them, you even end up marrying partners that like certain, certain aspects of you because they think it's you. Imagine meeting a man who likes a woman that wears sexy clothes. But that's not really you. You were following the trend. Now, that trend has passed. The covered trend has come into play. You, are, you breathe a sigh of relief like, oh my God, finally, thank God, I can now wear my covered clothes. But then, your husband is not happy because he's like, what the fuck is this? This is not the person I married. I married someone that wears sexy clothes because that's who I like. But she, you are not that person anymore. You guys start to have issues. If the person is mine, he thinks, oh, you have changed. When all the while you were that person, but you were just following a trend. And that is sad. Like, I see it play out in, you know, different aspects of people's lives. Or you start to dress, start to cover up because, you know, culturally in Africa, you know, if you cover up, you're supposedly decent, right? You start to cover up because at least that's the trend that's happening now because, you know, it's a trend. And then you meet a man who is, into that you know he's ah oh my god my wife covers up I, this woman covers up i really like that he marries you you guys are happy for a minute this is you for some reason the sexy trend comes back then you get bolder you get more comfortable wearing your sexy clothes and this man is wondering what is wrong with this wife i'm married what happened to her why is she like this she changed oh bad friends are influencing her these things are happening when in fact you are the bad friend influencing yourself <laughs> because you will not be your authentic self. So there's nothing in the world that makes a woman hotter than confidence. Confidence in who you are. Confidence in showing up the way you want to be. You know, not letting society or trends or, you know, weird shit affects what you like and how you feel you know that is the hottest shit ever and people can see it people can see fakes people can see it people can see who you are like so i'm here to tell you that being hot has a lot less to do with what you wear being seductive has a lot less to do with what you wear I mean, for the layman, yes, if you wear a sexy dress, they can be looking at you, you know, whatever. But for people who will really connect with you on a deeper level, it's less about what you wear and how you wear it. If you wear a short dress, a skimpy mini dress, I mean, before you left your house, you knew it was short. And then on the road, you're pulling it, you're pulling it. Or you wear a dress that shows your cleavage. I mean, you knew that that was the dress you were wearing before you left your house. But then every five minutes, you're pulling up, pulling up. It just shows everybody looking that, okay, this is a woman who is not confident, who is not comfortable showing skin. So why are you out there looking like that? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. It's just really silly. You might as well have worn your... Your dress that covered your cleave and, you know, was long enough so that you wouldn't have to be doing all of that. That's just it. But if you see a lady wearing her really short dress, that more, the dress is short to the point where you can almost see her panties. And, you know, or she's showing cleavage that you, the only thing covered is a nipple. And you're about to judge her. You're like, what sort of rubbish look is this? 
But then you see her walking with her head, with her head held high, not caring, not fidgeting, not trying to touch, not trying to. Even you that is hating, you're going to be like, oh, more people have mind. <laughs> you, you, you're going to like, you're going to love and hate her. Hate her for wearing what she's wearing because if that's not your thing, you're going to say, oh, this person is indifferent. But you're also going to love her for being confident enough to show up. I mean, I've seen such people, uh, I've seen such women, and I I see a woman who is like scantily dressed as in, as in dresses that I would never ever wear in my dreams. But when they walk, when they move, I'll be like, shit, why is she wearing that? But in my head, I'm like, but man, she's bodying this outfit. I cannot even lie. Like, so that is how to be hot. Forget everything you think, you know. Be confident in who you are. You attract your right tribe. You attract the right friend. You attract the right people. People who you do not need to pretend for because you guys are in the same, you know, you guys have the same perspective, you know, at life. That is the way to show that. That is what every hot woman possesses. It's really not about, you know, wearing this or looking that. No, it's how you move. There are some people that would carry braids or carry their natural hair. I walk into a room and you're like, oof. And men are like, oh my God, I love a natural woman. What they are not thinking is I love a natural woman. They're thinking about, okay, this woman is confident. Look at her. She has a natural hair on. She's in a room filled with women that have, you know, overflowing human hair. And she still stands out. She's confident. Now, if you're wondering, how do I know what I like, especially when it comes to my style, personality, how do I know that thing that I really, really like? You should sit down with yourself and ask yourself this question. How will I really dress if I knew that, if I wasn't scared of being judged, if I wasn't scared of, you know, being pointed at, how would I really, 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 you know? Most people, their style personalities come out when they travel. This is because... They are in the midst of strangers that do not know them. So they are allowed to be themselves without worrying about, oh, what would people that know me think? You know what I'm saying? So ask yourself that question. What would I really, what do I really like to wear? Or how do I really like to, you know, appear? Or how do I really want to be seen if I was 100% sure that I wasn't going to get judged? Or I wasn't going to get, you know, looked at in a funny manner. How would I want to be seen? What is the most comfortable I've been? What is that thing that when I wear it, I feel the most beautiful, I feel the most confident? When you answer that question, that question has to be about you and not about other people. It can't be, oh, what is it that I wear that when people see me? No, it has to be, what do I wear that makes me feel the most powerful, the most beautiful, the most confident? Once you can properly answer that question, then you've got to your answer. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this taught someone a lesson. But ladies out there, confidence is your best style secret. And being confident in who you are and wear it with pride. Wear it with pride. Everybody is working at, you know, living, right? Nobody gets out of life alive. So you might as well live, live for yourself, right? Thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm a fashion, lifestyle and you know, just everything in between vlogger. My business is fashion design. I also love to travel. I love to talk about life in general and things that have helped me. So I will be doing all of the videos that, you know, capture all of this. So if you like any of this, please follow me and subscribe to my channel. I will try as much as possible to be putting out videos once, one video every week just so that you know we can connect and we can do stuff together thank you guys for the 300 or more followers that we currently have i love you guys i appreciate you guys and i will try to work at catering to you you can also drop comments as to what kind of videos you would like if you have any questions on any topic or if you have any like observations or you have any you know 
will I say, you know, mentions or you have anything that, you know, you want to chime in, you know, to add to what I've just said, you can drop comments and I'll be sure to reply. Thank you guys and have a lovely day.